I am very pleased to welcome my friends C. Lane and Derek Shapinski here from the Palm Canyon Theater. They're getting ready for their production, She Loves Me, uh, a wonderful love story. We're going to find out more about it. Welcome back, both of you. Thank you for having us. Glad to be here. So give us a little thumbnail sketch of the storyline behind this. And um, it's a musical, too. It is a musical. Um, if you know the movie You've Got Mail with uh, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, it's that story. They're, they're pen pals um, in the late 30s in, a, in Europe. Uh, they work together at a perfumery. Um, and they don't realize that they're writing letters to each other. Um, and there's a lot of friction. They, th their first meeting doesn't go so well when she comes to work. Um, C. Lane plays Amalia, um, and she comes into the shop. And so it kind of sets that tension between the two characters. And then they both talk with their other coworkers about these pen pals that they have. And yeah. then at the end of the show, they realize that it's each other. So it's not really mistaken. <laughs> It's not mistaken identity, it's kind of hidden identity, and, and yes. it's funny because they are interacting all along, and you get to see both sides, so it must be yes. a fun show to do. It is, it is, yeah. and it's the whole cast is seasoned. You have Sheldon Schaefer, and Tom Warwick is back, we're glad to have him, and Ben Reese, and we have a new girl, Demi Clemens, Clemens. and it, we have so much fun fun together just because yeah. it's sweet and it's endearing the music Steve Smith stayed on just for this one because the music is so beautiful Jerry Brock yeah. did a beautiful job with it and so they all we all just kind of enjoy yeah. watching the friction and enjoy watching the sweet and endearing and, and there's there's a yeah. whole comic couple that they Eric Steinsteel they have fun yeah. together so at the end of the season was such a busy season it's nice to just relax into this you guys did have a huge busy season, uh, your regular productions, plus you had your cabaret series, which was a fundraising series. I really enjoyed all of the interviews with the folks who were putting on the various one-off shows because they really got to showcase a different side of their performances. Yes, yeah. um, we have a, a, a mixture of our seasoned actors who just want to do something a little bit different to people that actually like uh, Francesca does mm -hmm. this for a living. And it was yeah. nice to see a different one of her pieces, that her masterpieces that she brings to the table. It was fun. And a lot of different styles and Style. types of concerts and types of content. Um, and got us a whole new set of audience members who've never been to the theater before. Yeah, I think it was genius in that regard. Yeah. Because you brought in new eyes and, uh, and put different butts in seats, as we say. And re-energizes us to yeah. look at things and think of different things to do. And I know that you got to get through She Loves Me, but I know you're also looking ahead to the summer because you have a big summer uh, and a busy summer program. Bigger set, yeah, we do a six-week uh, theater kids camp. We're big on education. She's, you know, that's, her, that's a big part of our mission statement is education. Um, so we do this six-week kids camp, and a lot of the kids in the kids camp have been on our main stage shows and taken on pretty heavily featured um, principal roles. Yeah, I know those kids come up through that camp, and yeah. then you get go them ready, and, and then they just jump right, right yeah. in and are, are part of your regular cast then. Yeah, and then they go off to college, and some of them come back. Morella Sabio has come back several summers and choreographed our, our shows in the summer and throughout the season. So we get these kids, and they just take to it and, you know, flourish. Well, we'll have you back on again to talk more about the summer program. But I want to encourage you to go see She Loves Me. It's May 5th through the 14th at Palm Canyon Theater, right in downtown Palm Springs. PalmCanyonTheater.org is the place where you can go get more information, get your tickets, and see the showtimes. But it is a, a really lovely uh, love story and a, and a great musical love story as well. So go check it out. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Good and to see you. And break a leg. Thank you. <laughs>